Hello guys, what's now? In this video tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to use Bootstrap Carousel. Um, it's extremely easy because we don't have to write any JavaScript. All the JavaScript is already built in. So what we are going to do, we are gonna open up our project in Sublime Text. Then in our index html i'm going to copy and paste what the starter template is i'm going to link very quickly my bootstrap files and also my style css great I'm gonna open the index HTML and great, it's working properly. So now I'm gonna search for carousel. And if we scroll down, we're gonna find this, um, this template that has a navigation on the side and also at the bottom. I'm gonna copy and paste the example HTML and paste it below the body tag, refresh. So now we have the broken images. So very quickly, I'm gonna link all of them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so here I have my images. So it would be folder images, slide one. This is the second and the third one save changes, refresh, and for some reason it's not working. So, well, that's because I didn't specify the image format. In this case, all of them are JPEGs. Refresh, and now we have the slider working. To add some caption to the carousel is extremely easy. Here we have a uh, div tag wrapping an h3 and a p and a paragraph tag and we're just gonna copy this and paste it below the image tag um, save I'm gonna add some lorem ipsum text as well. So just to fill up the space. We save, now refresh, and as you can see, the caption has been properly assigned. Now, I wanna add some styling to this text because it looks kind of plain. So I'm gonna disable the rest of the images just for now until I finish adding the proper the proper CSS for my team. So I'm gonna just change this text. I'm gonna write something different, like the whole world is, is your playground. Save. Okay, now we're gonna open up Inspector. And here we're gonna start making some changes so we can see so we can see them, how they take, in, take effect on the browser. So for example, we are gonna position this as a, an absolute object. 
we're going to move everything to to the left it's going to have a width of 50 percent less at the top position in of two percent a margin left of 15 percent on now we're gonna target we're gonna target the um, the whole container with the CSS class. So we open up style period to reference the class name. Open and close curly brackets. Add the CSS rules. Save refresh and now the changes are actually taking effect. So great, now I'm gonna style the H3 as well. I wanna make that font a little bit bigger. So H3, a font size of 5M. Save, refresh, now it's looking so much better. And I'm gonna align the text to the right, to the left, sorry, text align left save perfect now to I feel like there's something missing here I'm gonna add a button here that can link to the to the page that we are advertising so if we search for buttons we scroll down, maybe we can find something that we like. What about this one? And below the P tag, we just add the button, refresh. Now we're gonna style it, perhaps with a white color, then a border of white smoke and a border radius of 30% of 30 pixels sorry then override the class from our style CSS save refresh perfect now I'm gonna add the caption to the rest of my images and let's see how it looks uncomment this refresh and here you go guys the, the carousel is now working properly so I also noticed that the resizing is a little bit um, you know it just doesn't look right um, Bootstrap already has a class of image fluid that it helps it helps the um, the image to resize, but I'm just gonna get rid of it because I just found out that without this class, when you resize the the slider, it just looks so much better. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video tutorial. Thanks.